freshman campaign, and we have seen your your growth through the season, Daraja. It's been great to see you uh, get more and more comfortable and make more and more plays as the year has worn on. Um, how long did it take until you were pretty comfortable? Uh, a little bit over halfway through the season. Yeah. Uh, after that break, we took uh, – when we lost to Arizona State, Coach – talked to us and told us that we need to go home and have a little heart to heart with ourselves look in the mirror and uh, I did that and it definitely helped and you can see it out on the court yeah well I mean early in the season guys were really kind of bird dogging you and there were some turnovers early in the year you've really cleaned that up and done a nice job and not too many freshmen come in here and have a you know whether it's a positive uh, assist to turnover ratio or at least close to it um, certainly taking care of the ball has been one of the critical things I would think for you and your success uh yes sir um it, it kind of started in high school had to play point guard, and uh, the team kind of relied on me not to turn the ball over because if I had a bad game or turn the ball over, we usually lost. So that's where it all started. And then, like I said, halfway through the season, it kind of started clicking. Yeah. you Later on, I guess as the season has worn on, you've shown some real athleticism. We knew it was in there, and at least I'd heard about it. Uh, but we saw some spectacular plays down at Nichols State. And, uh, I mean, there was a dunk back and, I mean, a great offensive rebound and stick back when we needed it. I mean, you've come up big in some critical times. Uh, put the the athleticism on display finally. Getting to see a little bit of that now. Yeah, it's it's definitely there. It's a little hidden. It's <laughs> hidden, but it's it's still there. It's still yeah. There. What uh, what what uh, as far as this game coming up here? I don't know what your memories are of the the first Northwestern State game. It was an up and down game, and I'm looking at your stat line. You had a great game against them. Twelve points, five of seven from the floor. Uh, you prefer those games that are kind of wild and free flowing, or you like the game where you got to grind one out? Uh, I like all all games. It doesn't really matter to me, but I would rather get up and down the floor, uh, um, a more high-scoring game. It's usually more fun. I'm sure if you ask anyone on the team, they'd tell you that. Uh, and that's how we like to play. So if we get a game like that, I feel like we can win it. Yeah. It's hard for me to keep up, though. So if you guys could slow down just a little bit. I don't know if we need to score quite that many points the next time around, but we'll see. Hey, I'll take a, I'll take a 2 to nothing game. I'll take 125 to 124, whatever we got to do. Um, you know, again, you're, you're in a situation where you came to campus knowing you, you all were playing for something. And so it's a great time to get here, without a doubt. How much would it mean to you in your freshman year, and how much have you guys talked about getting to Katie this year? Uh, that's really all we talked about. Um, even before the season started, Coach told us that we had a chance to be a really, really good team. Um, in the summer, we worked hard. Uh, you, I mean, other people looking in from the basketball team couldn't really tell because of our record. But I don't think the record really showed how good we actually were. And then we had the six home games here where we won four out of six or that little uh, win streak. Yeah. Um, then people finally started to see what UCA basketball kind of was. Yeah. We've lost two or three now in a row, but I think Northwestern State is the best time of any to bounce back and get to Katy. Taraja, I know Coach was not only competing with other schools for basketball with you, but I know you also had a, a pretty significant interest in playing football. How did basketball and UCA eventually went out for you? Um, well, uh, when I was getting recruited, people, people told me to play football, but I was kind of skeptical because I'd played basketball all my life, and that's what I really, really like to do. Football was kind of just like a hobby that I was – kind of somewhat good at yeah and then I kind of looked deeper into football I mean it looked cool but then it's kind of like you're just a number because mm -hmm. there's so many people and then basketball people actually know you by your name and they'll get to know you and all that yeah. and then along with that football working out all the deadlifts and squats and all that nah that's not me not you nah, okay that's, that's not me yeah but you got to lift here yeah, I mean, we lived here, but football is just different. A little different they're animal, just, yeah. They're just animals. They, they eat weights. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do that. You're not about that. Okay.